microphone's in. You on it's on Twitch. La 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 la. Okay, it's starting to do a uh, Yeah, I noticed it's uh Nope, oh, there you are. Microphone's in. Oh, I might want to turn that down a bit. Yeah, uh, can't reach the converter. Very good. Well, I meant more of our voices or something. Yeah, I turned it down a bit. Uh, you don't have to put, you don't have to like put the microphone all the way over. It's pretty powerful. All right. Let me just. Uh, anybody here yet? Not that I see. Well, that's fine. Let me uh, retweet my the thing. I did an update tweet myself. I just think the honking stopped, good lord. Did you close the window, or...? No, it just stopped. Okay. Okay. I think that is that. Do we have anybody in? Hello, everybody. Mr person who is with us, I can't tell. And I should like just ask see, until I can like have a chance to work on it on my own, ask somebody if they can do an overlay for us. Actually you should probably do that. I uh, guess so. You'd probably get an answer. Uh anyway, um What's up? Oh, should I start? Oh sorry you're checking your phone so but, uh, yeah, I guess so. The time is nigh. The time is nigh. The time is now. Okay, time for Final Fantasy. No. So, not again. Hello, everybody, everyone who's here. This is Nadia and David Ruin Video Games. Again, we haven't finished ruining them. We are, it's, a, it's an ongoing process. We pledge to ruin every video game in the universe. And today we're going to ruin Astro's Playroom, which I actually just got this PS5 um, a couple weeks ago, maybe a week ago. I actually have not played Astro's Playroom yet. I was saving it for this stream. Uh, so I am an Astro Virgin. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get this show on the road. Hello, Toof Toof. Our cat is joining us. Someday we'll get the, we're actually working on getting the overlay and the camera and everything, so uh, we'll, get, we'll, we'll get that all hooked up for you at some point soon. If there is any problem whatsoever with our levels, with our anything, please let us know. This is, we're not only ruining video games, we're learning in the in the process. So we're ruining streaming. Yeah, we are definitely ruining streaming. There's no question about that. Yeah, so we will get that overlay working. We only just got this stupid feed to work. I actually discovered that uh, we were having some problems with the cables, number one. Number two, uh, Sony was blocking practically everything. You had to turn off a certain setting. I forget what it was called, but HDCP, I believe. HDCB, yeah. So that was uh, that was our agony for a while. But That's why we didn't get to stream last week. That yeah, we were at a total loss last week, but we managed to fix things this week. I think. All right, let's uh, let's hang out with some robot buddies. They look very uh, iPhone-ish, very modern. Not like the Terminator, who's like kind of modular. Aw, look how sweet. Yeah. Sony, we have mascots, we swear to God. <laughs> We're just trying <laughs> We have mascots for the moment. We'll probably ditch them in five years. So if you're not familiar, Astro's, Pre uh, Astro's Playroom is a showcase of the controller that came with the PlayStation 5, the DualSense. And yeah, I can definitely feel everything. It's pretty... Oh, let me, let me, let me yeah, try. yeah, let you, me you give it a try. I, I haven't even, like, barely held this thing yet. You can, you can kind of feel Astro running across the logo and all sorts of really cool stuff going on. Wow, yeah. That's kind of neat. Uh, it seems a bit more, um, what's the term I'm looking for? You know how uh, the Switch has the um, high definition rumble? Yeah. It reminds me of that, but a little more... Well, let's just say, I guess, that the high definition the Switch's rumble is running in is like 720 and this is 1080. Yeah, so let's uh, let's enjoy it now and probably enjoy some controller drift jank down the road. Yeah, uh, with all the stuff going into this, I that is my biggest concern with this controller is how soon does it break? <laughs> and 
And how much will it cost to replace? Well, we already know that. It's not yeah, going to be cheap. Hey, I know that console. I know all these consoles. You know we just one. continued that one. <laughs> <laughs> you want to go online with that one? <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> <laughs> Vibration. I got PlayStation 4 controllers are dying. Yeah. Adaptive triggers. See, those are what my biggest concern is. That does that feel really cool, actually. Oh, can I try? Yeah, you try it. I, I haven't. I've obviously not done this either. I haven't even logged in on the PlayStation 5 yet. Oh, okay. Hi everyone, the stream probably won't be too long, we usually go for an hour and a half, that's all I can usually take, and I've got a, uh, actually got a Final Fantasy XIV raid with the Blood God group tonight. Hey, give it to me, give it to me. So we're not gonna, like, go through the whole game or anything like that. That depends how long the game is, it's supposed to be pretty short, right? Yeah, we were just here, on the chat they're saying it's about, like, uh, a few minutes, uh, sorry, a few hours. Oh, okay, yeah, then probably not. Oh my god, they filled it with robots. Oh, I wasn't looking. Do it again. I was trying to read the chat. I don't think I can go back. Oh, wait. Let me try. Okay. So, I... What happens when you touch the touchpad? Does it, like... Oh! It, you can see it, like, mark, like, the area. God, this is gonna break in, in a year. This is gonna be terrible. Microphone. You don't fucking say. Oops. Sorry, I shouldn't swear. <laughs> Oh, I think that uh, ship has sailed long ago. I feel really uncomfortable blowing in between the legs of the uh, PlayStation controller. I'm sure it enjoys it. Seems to. I'm an ice cream sandwich. I was just about to say, I have a sudden urge for ice cream Looks like a one from like an irregular ice cream sandwich. I don't see what's wrong with this one. Oh. You know, if the Switch can tell what color Joy-Con you're using, you'd think they would at least be able to tell which model of PlayStation 5 we have here. We do not have a disc one, much to my protest. Oh, make sure to keep an eye on, like, the chat, make sure there's nothing wrong with, like, our levels or anything like that. I can't see it that well because the microphone's in the way. Let me slide that over then, and I'll slide this up. Okay. Because I'm having a lot of trouble. Wow, coins. So this is very Mario Sunshine-ish. Yeah, but at least your hover doesn't talk back in this one. I don't know, I kind of like Flood despite everything. Oh, I like the only one Um, but let's see. Yes, Jason Venter says, I discovered the HTCP thing when I had to grab screens for a guide, but it was a natural <laughs> thing to check after similar issues with the PS4. Yeah, I think uh, she checked the PlayStation 4 a long, long time ago for recording something or other and completely forgot about it. And yeah. I wasn't there for that, so I didn't even know. You get good vibrations with Returnal, too. Seems like something Sony wants to emphasize. Yeah, I definitely want to I still want to play Returnal. I just got a review code for Mass Effect, uh, and I need to play some of that for the next Blood God episode. So Returnal's going to have to wait just a bit. Hello! Hi! I'm a computer chip! I'm your biggest fan! <laughs> no, this is. I don't think I was a fan. So much stuff to break. I'm a toaster! I'm a PlayStation. I'm a monolith. You touch the monolith PlayStation and everyone gains sentience. And they CPU become Plaza. like. Maybe become as smart as, like, Crash. I don't know. This is kind of cute. Very, um... I've heard this compared to, say, like, Wii Sports, which, of course, demonstrated how the... Uh... Oh, motion sensor worked, so... Yeah, I think the comparison's apt. A lot more complex than that was, of course. I mentioned this on Twitter, but I just... I... I love, by which I mean I'm entirely amused by the way that Sony is, like, celebrating their history while denying you access to any of it. Ah, don't get me started. 
if you're an RPG fan and the way they, they, they're just like doing that, limiting that access is so, so terribly tragic. It is. I mean, may, maybe like PS3 or something, I could maybe understand. PS2, if I squint, PS1, come on. I think Astro's Playroom so far is a much more complex demonstration of the dual sense versus uh, what Wii Sports did for the, um, the for the motion sensor because that was let's face it as revolutionary as the Wii was it was a lot of waggle Labo, eh? We're made of cardboard. <laughs> Jason says maybe I'll surprise you and announce a Legend of Dragoon remake. Oh, lordy, lordy, that would sure be a thing they would do, wouldn't it? I would probably play it. I did not play the original Legend of Dragoon. I have heard things. Many, many, many things. Some in favor, many against it. Isn't that the one that Matt McMuscles was playing a couple months ago? I think so. Aw, he's trying. Uh -huh. Oh my god, you would. <laughs> I'm trying to help him. You're failing miserably. Aw, he's worshipping the controller. That's nice. Your god is false. <laughs> um, wait a minute. That's not a controller. I think that's PlayStation Plus. Oh, that's even worse. Overrated. Overpriced. <laughs> Give us a Game Pass priority. I like those swag bags. Those are actually really cute. This is how people usually react to swag bags at, like, E3. I'm done with your freaking stuff. My compartment is full. Please stop. Do you have a, do you have an in, in extra large? No, of course you don't. Do you have a woman size? No, of course you don't. Does someone help him? I think he's broken. Yeah. Help me! They're like, yay! Oh, oh, what, like, what are they playing? Analog stick is just like uh, schematics. Oh, I guess they're keeping things running. Yeah. In that case. Wait, was works over? Workers' rights. Was that? Oh, I just thought I saw one of those fancy uh, VMU-like memory cards from Japan over on the right. Oh, like Is that the Massa Mune? I think that's the Massa Mune. It's gonna short to be the Massa Mune. For a, a comparison for a robot, like it's pretty, pretty on point. And yeah, is that what you were talking about? Oh yeah. Well, oh, shit! I punched him. He got mad. He, he sent me to to hell. Ah, the little car. Yes, yeah, slap that plus sign around. I wonder if that's Gran Turismo. Oh, man, he hit me with the car. I deserve that. Oh, yeah, just... probably. I, I thought you were more pro PlayStation than this. Spyro! I'm pro PlayStation, but I'm also pro punching things. Like, I like Spyro, but that's I need fair. to punch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was not the least bit fair for a poor guy. But... No. He, he is being punished for your sins. Okay, so Spire let's. Uh, says all these robots look alike to me. Hey, remember DDR? Konami doesn't remember. I'm a little butterfly, but da, 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 however that song. So is. I'm curious. You know how like eventually like uh, Guitar Hero and that stuff just kind of faded out. Yeah. Yeah. Did DDR fade out, or did Konami just kind of like you know stop doing it? Oh, Konami so... totally just stopped doing it. I'm sure DDR would still be around if Konami like would just kind of support it. Oh, did Dylan Cuthbert work on this? That's a very interesting question. Huh. Uh, the duck demo that he worked on. I don't know about this, but was there a... Oh, is that the one on the screen, I guess? Yeah, I guess so. How do I get into these uh, demos? Don't know that you do, Captain N. <laughs> so I guess I just kind of... I'll go to the uh, big sort of big Tron... looking thing. Moses thing over here. Hello! I demand offerings of macaroni shakers. Yeah, let me destroy those old, um, Macintoshes. IMAX, I guess. Okay, so what we got here, I guess, is a UFO catcher. Oh, that's what you spend coins on. So, oh, I see. Oh, I got an artifact. PSP microphone. Wow, that is an artifact. Yeah. Remember this thing we supported? No, you don't. Because we never did! <laughs> I 
There are tons of Easter eggs in the game, which I wish they explored more. Makes me want a full project where they do. <laughs> That'd be nice, but that would require Sony, like, you know, respecting their history. Yeah, One I've... down, lots more to go. Trophy earned. That was weird. What was that? Like... Oh, okay, here we go. Here's something. It's yeah. an amiibo! Yeah, I honestly think Sony has... Sony's trying to do the whole, um... The whole nostalgia thing. And they... The way Nintendo does, and they could, but they're just not quite there, and they're not really good at nurturing their... Their history the way Nintendo is, and this is... Astro's Playroom is an exception. Okay, so how do I... I think someone else made Astro's Playroom, so that checks out. Oh, yeah. How do I play something else? It could be like, uh, you know, Sonic, and then you got Sonic Mania, and, you know? Yeah. It's it's like they, they were on a good uh, tear there for a moment, like, you know, with the uh, Michael commercial, and PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royal, which uh, somehow they just managed to... Your voice might be a bit loud, you might want to lower it a bit. Oh, here we go. And they just kind of managed to trip that one up a bit, and then it's like, oh yeah, well, uh, that didn't work. The I just thing have is, the future. nobody wants to be in PlayStation All Stars. Everyone wants to be in Smash. And if you go into PlayStation All Stars, that might blow your chances of being in Smash. So why settle for second best if you have a chance at the? Uh... Have you fed the cats recently? No, I'm guessing you haven't either. No. I'll be right back. And I do just want to say that. Maybe if, uh, you know, they'd stuck to their guns, people would want to be in PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, but... Uh, important update, David is going to feed the cats. Because they are destroying things. They destroy things when they're hungry. Oh, look at these two little fellas. Yay, butterfly! Oh. Butterflies. Oh, there we go. You can hit the butterfly. Butterfly massacre confirmed. You cannot pet the butterflies unless punching a butterfly counts as petting a butterfly. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my hand, here is my stout. This guy here is a. he's a. that. you know, that man meme. No, the one where, like, the horse is looking out at the, uh, sea, saying, man. He's, he's very absorbed. He's, uh, having an existential crisis. Yeah, man, nothing's gonna distract him from it. That's, uh, that's dedication to your, uh, existential horror. <laughs> I admire it. Hello. It's my crisis, and I'll cry if I want to. You look friendly. You look like... Mega Manified versions of like Mario enemies. Yeah, definitely. What's this? Oh, let's see. Huh. Neat. Oh, CDs. Jason says he destroys things when he's hungry too, so he sympathizes. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's like those black back things that a little card chews your ass out if you try to run on a CD player. I don't chew your ass out. He's just like, so you're not going to listen, are you? And it's like, nope. I'm going to play this. I'm going to play the Symphony CD in the uh, PlayStation, and you're going to like it. Because the sound, the music they put there is pretty boss. I mean, it's kind of like a passive-aggressive ass-chewing, I think. Alucard can passive-aggressively chew my ass anytime. Teed up and hit out of the park. I'm just saying. That reminds me, the uh, I think the new season of Castlevania is starting tonight. Da -da 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 -da. We still gotta see the last one. Yeah, we haven't watched season three yet. I gotta watch um, Lord of the Rings. Sorry, Return of the King for the uh, the Summer of the Rings is starting for at Acts of the Blood God. So I'm sorry. Eh, I look forward to it. But we'll be recording that this weekend. 
Hey, um, you see that wall back there? Yeah. There's one of those things you can pull out. Oh, so there is. Well, that's not the one I meant, but... No, but I like pulling things, as it turns out. Yes, we know. But, yeah, once, um... I'm gonna, I guess I'll have a kind of a busy weekend. I have a lot to do. Heck, I have a lot to do today, and I'm not doing it. Oh, those were like, um... Our, our... Those were like triggers, like R2 and L2. Which were? The platforms you jumped across to get over here. Oh, neat. I mean, the PlayStation controller does have a lot of great history behind it. I still say, like, the Dual Sense, Dual Shock, Dual All of That is my favorite shape for a controller. Hey, what happens if you try to hit those bursts? What bursts? Well, okay, there's the one that the arrows are pointing to now. Right? But go back. Go to your right. Those. Ah, okay. If I find other uh, things to throw at them. Hey, anybody want to volunteer? Anyone want, want to throw you at a thing? Aw, look at this old fella. Are you okay? Um. I think he's, uh, I think he's supposed to be a, uh, from The Last of Us, the mushroom possessed people. I thought we were in the PlayStation 1. I'm now in the PlayStation X uh, 4. No, uh, that, uh, PlayStation. Yeah, <laughs> PlayStation 4. Um, the, that would explain the, uh, triggers, because those look more contemporary. So anyway, yeah, I see what you mean, but I can't really find anything to throw at them. Did you waste it? Can, can, you, can you trigger the hologram thing there? Does that do anything? I don't think so. Hmm, that's weird. Uh, oh, maybe here we could, go. Yeah, I was going to say, maybe you could pull up another one of those things. It looks like they come back after a while. Good shot. A plus. Sign me up for the J's. I'd do better than them anyway. <laughs> Baseball humor. I have no idea what I'm saying. In doubt, smack. Hologram is a checkpoint. Oh, okay. That makes sense. That makes a sense. <laughs> I screwed up. This little fellow looks very cute, but like I was saying earlier, just the, his design and kind of resembles um, technology today, which is not meant to be tampered with. It's all proprietary. And you cannot fix it yourself. And that actually, no, that Sony's bad for that. But of course, Apple's Don't worse. Throw it. No, I know. Okay. There. Give me, give me, give me. How do we get that? Oh. Maybe, I was gonna say maybe you have to jump over. Um. Okay, I don't know what uh, Sony's magic handcuffs here are, but. Yeah, that's uh, that's lost on me. Freak things. Oh, cool. Break stuff. Dee -dee -dee -dee. And now we're on a controller. Yeah, wow, no, that's kind of cute. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, yeah, so the hologram, it changed from red to blue. Coins, coins, coins. I might have been feeding the cat when you hit the other one. I don't know. Oh, I guess this is... Aw, I'm scared. I guess they're filming Uncharted here, maybe? Yeah, this is Uncharted. You can do it, little buddy. A punch of belief. Oh, I guess I'm not meant to go there. <laughs> so yeah, you're talking about all the proprietary breaking stuff, and it's like, yeah, that's why uh, poor Astro here is probably not going to make it past the PlayStation 5 generation. Oh. Okay, so we have Uncharted there. We've seen Last of Us, Uncharted. I'm sure I've missed a few already. I guess they're still doing Uncharted. I'm not sure what that board thing there is. What? The you uh, the seat teeter totter thing that you walked across just now. Uh, oh, I see what like what part it is. You're wondering. Yeah. I don't know. It looks like the Tony Hawk board that like. <laughs> no, I see. It's, it's an airplane. Oh, okay. I was hoping they were paying they were paying tribute to that like uh, accessory from the Tony Hawk game. My guess was. Whoops. Wow. Oh, that's kind of brutal. My guess was like their equivalent of the. Um, you know that add-on they uh, released for the PlayStation 4 controller when nobody cared anymore for the, like, you know, pro controller type? Yeah. Let's see what we got going on here. Ah, Patapon. Pata, 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 pon. Pata, pon, pata, pon. <laughs> I like that little, I guess, reporter. Yeah, he's really excited about his finding. We are the first people to discover graffiti. Are you seeing this, people? Right, says Jason. It's saying things about my mother. I'm so thrilled about this. It says my mother is a dirty whore. Gonna take you for a ride. Oh, shit. 
How, 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 how did they survive that? I don't think it was any game in particular. Or a part, just uh, something to flatten me. You know, that is the one problem. Oops. Wow. There's one problem when you've got, like, you know, just a game that's chock full of references. It's, you start looking for references where they are. Yeah. Oh, shit. Maybe they were behind him. Literally. You know, it's too bad that he can't just, like, kind of, uh... Ah, crap. I gotta, like, be careful of that. Try try using your, uh, boot laser... Yeah, I'm hover, yeah. ...boost to, like, just stomp him. It's funny that he only gets one hit. I thought, uh, he'd have, like... ...more, uh, security than that. Alright, you. It's enough nonsense for today. Oh, I didn't kill him. Oh, well. I got past him. Okay, I was gonna say, um, he would turn into a plug the first time you encountered him. One of those pull things. Wee. Yeah. yeah like Terraflop treetops. Oh, yeah, we're definitely not a PS1 duo anymore. Oh, now we got a zip up. Oh, cool. I'm a monkey. I think you're Iron Monkey. Oh, I see. Suggestion avoid the giant wheel. <laughs> hey, no back to gaming now. Okay, pressing L2, I'm pressing R2. Okay, Sh tilt the controller, like, as well. Oh, okay. Welcome to the next level. Yay, motion sensing. <laughs> you fell on his butt. You know, I thought we were finally getting away from the whole motion control thing, and then... No, motion controls are here forever. Along with expensive controllers. Go, go, monkey, go! Yeah, I'd like to know at what point uh, someone decided, like, Hey, instead of having people buy more games, oh, let's have them spend all their money on controllers. Why, monkey? Is that really the better more money-making option. I oh, know, this is kind of cute. Monkey! Monkey! This is my least favorite part of the whole game, as I recall. It's kind of cute. I predict that many of the features implemented in Astro's Playroom will be used in maybe four or five games across the whole generation of PlayStation 5 games. Yeah, that's been my prediction. Yeah, I've heard like already a lot of complaints about how... Uh, I think Cat, in particular, has been complaining about how the forced feedback really interferes with games like FIFA. Even though they're like... They're optional, but not exactly great to have. It's like, I can see it being used in first-party games, but even that's not guaranteed. It's going to be another situation like Nintendo, where like only they really knew how to use the uh, Wii Motion uh, Plus really well. See, I thought you were going to see, say the Wii U gamepad, and then I'm going to be like, yeah, but how much were they even using that by the end? No, they barely... Well, they tried to use the gamepad, and it just did not work out. And that's actually a rare instance in Nintendo, screwing up with their own hardware. Usually they're really good about that. But it turns out, no, nobody wanted to play Star Fox on a separate, uh, separate screen. Speaking of which, I mean, I wonder if they're gonna manage to bring that to the Switch somehow. I hope so. And we'll find out if people even want to play Star Fox on a single screen. I think so. People just don't want Star Fox to be complicated. But then again... Wow, he just inflates before he explodes. That's really weird. Say it. No. Um, but yes, the problem is I wonder if like a, uh, a Star Fox, just a single, you know, the rail shooter, the usual traditional Star Fox, would thrive in this age of, oh my god, video games have to be 30 hours long, even though they really don't. Jason says, or 3D with a 3DS, which is another good point. 3D, yeah, 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 the 3DS, um, 
had a couple of really good instances of using the 3D. Yay! One of them was uh, a link between worlds. PSVR processor unit. I will stand for. S <laughs> Nobody really knows what goes on in there. I will stand for uh, Star Fox 64 3D. Oh yeah, that's a great one. That that was like a fuck, like a freaking theme park ride in your hands. Yeah, and and Star Fox uh, 64 and 64 3D had a lot to find, like a lot of medals and stuff. I could never get all the medals in Star Fox 64. I tried really hard, but just couldn't do it. You know, now here, here's a legit, what I feel is a legitimate concern regarding Star Fox Zero coming to Switch. Do you know what game this is? This one is... is Cabela? It's escaping me. Um, I'm not sure. Rope Escape? I guess it's possible. I'm not sure. He's got, like, a mustache. Does anyone with the mustache have, like, a taser? He has, he has like, a coat. Saber Wolf. Uh, anyway, wrong company. Yeah, I know. If anybody has an idea, let me know. But as I was saying, the um, the, the biggest mark I think against um, Star Fox Zero coming to the Switch is they would likely not be able to do the two-screen thing in any you know remar remotely similar way, and I could just imagine them being like, "Well, then there's nothing unique about it, so why bother?" Yeah. Hopefully they realize it doesn't really have to be unique. It'll just be a good game. Give it to another. Give it to uh, Retro or someone if you don't want to be like Nintendo fancy dancy about it. I'm sure people will just appreciate Furries in Space. That's all I they really want. I think Sega has expressed interest in doing another one. They're the ones who did the last one. Did Sega do the last one? F Zero G X and AX, yeah. Oh, uh, sorry. I thought you meant. I thought you meant Star Fox. Oh no no no. But yeah. They're I wonder what happened to the rumor about, really strong rumor about Star Fox Rally or whatever it was called. Remember Star Fox Racing? Yeah, I, man, I was kind of, I, I was hyped for that. Jason says, I love Nintendo, but I hate their belief that a game has to be super unique to be worth doing. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah. And oh, it, now we're talking. As I've said before, it's like... I'm not even sure what's going on. Oh, I see. Are you, are you jumping off of those, or...? I tried, but you can't. Oh, okay. So I'm just killing things, as is the way. Wow. That suction cup does a lot. Um... Upper right. Oh. Yeah, I know, the little moles, the little whack moles But yeah, it's, uh, as I was saying before, it's been so long since we've had one, in almost 20 years, that... What's old is new again? Unless they're just, like, gonna hide behind, like, oh, well, they can play the Super NES one on Nintendo Switch Online. Which is just so... The original Star Fox, I'm still pretty good at it. I'm talking about F-Zero. Oh. Eh. The original one's good, but, yeah. I like to... I don't mean, you know what, I've, I've never been a huge F-Zero fan. The newer ones were always moved a little bit too quickly for me, so it made me motion sick. I mean, I honestly have ideas on what to do to. Oh no, it's a dragon. Be able to revive this series. What if I'm supposed to get it in the eyes? Oh, okay. Try, try. Oh, I was gonna say, no. try putting the balls no. back. Oh! No. Yeah, that's even better. Why would you do that to me? I'm sure X revived uh, could roll the streets. Oh! Whoa, it really is mean business. They've got these circle buttons on it, like. What's the circle button doing right now? That? Eh, maybe you can hit one? I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, part of me wants to say f Online would be a thing, but then that requires using Nintendo Online, and that's not known for being... I don't know if the, uh... I don't know if the infrastructure's improved, because I know they changed it. Oh, do you think they, uh, might have upgraded to Windows 2000? Or? Hopefully. Whoa! Yeah, I was there. Um... Ah, oh, shit. He's still going. I had an idea. I've been, like... I was probably gonna write something about it at some point, but... I guess call it a stream freebie or something. I honestly think having, like, you know... Like, besides online, having competitive racing leagues... Would really enhance the experience. Have, like, you know... 
like slower, like you know, more like amateur classes for people who aren't as used to the game, and let them build like work their way up to the high speed pro stuff. Is this Tekken? Oh man, he's just kicking his grandfather's ass there. That's hilarious. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that is absolutely Tekken. I just throw him off the edge just to make it complete. For authenticity's sake. Oh boy, it's the monkey thing again. Jason says, I don't gaming online in general anyway. I don't care how good your infrastructure is. People are meanies. Who is that? Yeah. People are, um, thankfully a little better on... They're pretty good on, on uh, Final Fantasy XIV, I think. Still find some jerks, though. I don't game online much, but I don't usually have problems, but often I don't talk to people either. I don't think F-Zero is the kind of game where you would really need to, unless they went so far as to say give you like a pit crew or something that's like actual people. And play mini games to, uh, you know, fix up your ride. <laughs> I could, uh, I don't foresee a future where if there is an F-Zero online that Nintendo would let voice chat be on there. They tell you to like... Put it on Discord or something, or maybe use, use that too. Maybe use that horrible app that nobody uses. Yeah, I was just about to say. Hey, hey, that's hey! What's your phone is for? I grabbed that. Stupid monkey. Yeah, not the biggest fan of these sections. Oh, 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 oh. You got it totally off there. That's my Taz tribute. Okay, that's cool. That's my story, and I'm sticking with it. Oh, he doesn't keep the ones that you caught, I guess. He doesn't seem to. I'm sick of Taz singing. <laughs> guess I'll get up there. Ah, screw it. Yeah, I know the handholds seem to be like switches. Like, what's that even about? I don't know, but this isn't as responsive as it could be. Oh, good news. I don't think you can be hurting that thing, and other things get hurt when they touch you. I monkeyed around with this segment for some time and eventually survived it, says Jason. But it was the one moment where I really wasn't having fun with an otherwise great game. Yeah, that tracks. It's not extremely intuitive compared to the rest of this game. Also, it hurts my wrists for some reason. Uh, straining, straining, straining. Well, while you're getting through this, I've got an idea. Let's keep celebrating Sony by talking about Nintendo. <laughs> now, how about that uh, Donkey Kong rumor about the um, Nintendo uh, Tokyo Studio, is it? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, that's the thing that's happening, I suppose. Well, we don't know that it's happening, but rumors strongly suggest, and I honestly hope it is. I want it to be 3D. Because I feel like Donkey Kong has not gotten a fair shake in 3D yet. No, there was, uh... Oh, come on. This is what I need. It's gonna, like, tilt and everything while I'm trying to do this. <sighs> Don't you feel immersed, though? My wrist feels like it's gonna freaking break. I guess maybe I'll... This is a dumb thing that they've done here. I guess I'll Wait take it. The... Nope. Yeah, I see what I'm supposed to do here. Yeah, just take them one at a time. Slow and steady. That's the name of the game today. Slow and steady with the power of um, quad cores or whatever the hell it is that's supposed to make this thing so fast. Oh my god, just kill me now. Kill the monkey. Kill the monkey, kill the monkey. Yay, I won. Oh no, ice. Oh, I thought I was going to have you like going downhill like the penguin thing in Mario. Here's Journey. Ha. 
I'll make your journey easier. Fly, I like how you're just fly. ruining everybody's movies. They don't even care. Oh, leave the bun. Come on, that's too much. Watership down. Okay. Monster Monsters. escape. Guess that's supposed to be Ape escape. Uh, yeah, I think so. Ah. Look, 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 he's cold. He's cute. Yeah. That's adorable. <laughs> and he just started waving at you as you walked away. He's he's like, oh, you're the one who's causing me to freeze to death. But I like you. I love you. You are my supreme ruler. Thank you. <laughs> That's cute. Hey, Sony, Astro merchandise when? Does it not? Maybe it exists already. Uh, if it does, I haven't heard about it. We. I hang around yeah, yeah. like you know some uh, places that talk about that kind of thing. True. Analog stick. Oh, I'm so glad winter's over. The winter of COVID. Finally, the weather's warm again. So he's all like, we invented two analog sticks. Playstation 4, yay! Greatness awaits. Cute. Wee. New artifact. Now it's the monolith. Touch me and gain sentience. Yeah. Promise greatness, Livermore. Jeez. Up on yourself a bit, aren't you, Sony? Just a bit. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, over on Xbox, I'm a little jealous we don't have a little, you know, self masturbatory fan wank thing going like this. It is cute. Let's see what the next one I can do is. On the other hand, I guess they make up for it by actually, like, letting you play the games they'd be celebrating, so... Wow, he's just, like, humping the PlayStation 4. Don't do that, dude. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> You're like the dog with the bat. <laughs> Bonk. Alright, so let's go, uh... Back to... I think more than one's doing it. Guys, stop humping the PlayStation. I'm not gonna be here... I'm not gonna sit here to supervise them. Did you ever figure out what the memory card guy does? I thought you got some of the stuff that he might. What? Um, not really. Let's go to another level. Oh, wait. Time for PlayStation Worship, everybody. Wow, a triangle. I feel very accomplished. Oh boy. Speed running. Exactly what I'm good at. By which I mean I'm not good at it. Oh, I see. This is like an aquarium. Hey, little fella. Uh -huh. Did you just blind him? Oh, you you leave like little uh, things when you do that. Yeah, it's cute. He's in purgatory and he has to do that for the rest of like eternity. I feel bad for him. Ah, cooling springs. Yeah, PlayStation Five would know a thing or two about cooling. Yeah. Oh, it's a beach. I like beaches. Wee, water slide. This feels like Sony saying, like, look, we have a Mario type game too, and ours is free. You remember free? Oh, he can swim. Kind of. Oh, I see, he's got a little uh, floaty thing. Ha, <laughs> neat. I guess just auto deploys. Aw. Uh, ah, I had a feeling it was gonna be them. Ha! <laughs> nice. Dad, Dad of War. Dad Bot of War. Uh, I forget what his son's name is. I keep, I keep wanting to call him Atreyu. Okay, I thought he was. No? No. Atreyu is from Never Ending Story. Oh. Jason says, remember Animal Crossing on GameCube? Ooh, I do, I do. Collecting all those NES games, I feel like it wound up being a dry run for Virtual Console. Sure did. You won't get that anymore, that's for sure. Nope. Those days are over. Oh, those are, uh, mean guys. If this was Pokemon, this sandcastle would come to life and kill you. Huh. Ah, oh, they're hot. Too warm. Too warm. Get beside the cooling fan. Too bad it was only on the GameCube, because that was, like, not the most ideal controller for some of those games. Yeah. Oh, I bet. Everyone moves in my stuff. Oh, was that a surfboard? You can go surfing now? Everybody's learning how. Come on in safari with me. Oh, cool. 
Oh, uh, can you not move? Uh, uh, try tilting the controller. Uh, again. Nope. Uh, try your triggers. Nope. It's just a display piece. Huh. That's too bad. I kinda wanna do a surf. You know, I still do I remember being disappointed that, like, Super Tortimer Brothers, or whatever it was called, uh, wasn't an actual game in there. Six axes, six axes, like six axes. No, I can't actually do it. Wow, this is, um, be sure you guys want to, like, really, uh, commemorate the six axes. <laughs> I wish it was the boomerang, uh, controller. I want a virtual console to return so much, I've just made myself depressed. Yeah, Virtual Console was good while it lasted. All five years of it. That's one of those things where people keep, like, one of the strongest rumors for the Switch. Oh, it's this, where Virtual Console's coming back, it's gonna be great. They've been saying that for years, it never comes back, and then it's like, oh, wait for E3, well... People are deluding themselves, I think. Once again, we're waiting for E3. Which is coming very soon, cripes. And to be honest, it's like, uh, at this point, I don't even, like, care anymore, because... Most of the Virtual co Okay, that's unnerving. Uh, most of the Virtual Console stuff I want is from the other platforms besides Nintendo. The Sega, the NEC, Neo Geo, all that fun. And most of that stuff, more and more of it at least, is getting released on its own, which is like, you know, yeah, you don't have the flat price point, but you're usually getting more in a package and stuff, so. One time when I went to the beach, um, the, uh, ki friends, the kids we were friends with like buried me up to my neck. And then, like, they pretended to leave me there. I mean, like, they, they didn't, but they said, hey, let's play a joke, and they, of course, they, they released me. But they would, like, they had me kind of hang back, and then they went back to the cabins, and, of course, my mom was asking, where's Nadia? And they're like, oh, we got her buried at the beach. And she was like, what? <laughs> nice. Did you just give that bot laser eye surgery? Possibly. Um... But, yeah, Virtual Console, it's like... It was, it was good to start, and then it kind of... It was... I don't know, just the way the Wii U went about it just kind of soured things a bit, and then after that they don't even care anymore, and it's just... I don't know. The Virtual Console on the, uh, on the Wii, like... It was remarkable to start, and it was, but then, like, yeah. they kind of neglected it. But even then, it did so much, it was still so much better than what we ended up with on the, uh, the Wii U, which was practically nothing. Yeah, like, the Wii U did it better, like, in terms of, like, game functionality with the save points and... Which is cute. The good others, thing. Like, being able to use the gamepad, but, of course, you had to pay extra for that, and it's like, okay, I could buck a buck fifty, sure, fine. If we must, that's not an unreasonable pay hike, or like, if you don't own the game, you pay the same. But then just so many of the titles were just not there, and that's what really... I mean, I actually game. really like Nintendo Online, but they just won't update it, so... Yeah, the, 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 the biggest miss for Virtual Console for me, like not having it, is mostly Nintendo's own stuff at this point, and that's just... Who, who even knows, like, when or how often we'd get it, like... The Game Boy Advance stuff, that was good. The Nintendo DS. Having um, Super Nintendo on the uh, new Nintendo 3DS was actually a pretty, a pretty good selling point at the time. I'm the police, I'm here to spoil your fun. Who are you? Oh shit, I'm that- I'm the Mushroom Man. What was this game? I can't remember the name of it. I just remember one of those games I'd see it at E3 and it'd be Can like- Can you just pull out a PlayStation Vita or a PSP or something? I think something? it was a PSP. I see it like, you know, E3 or whatever, I'd be like, oh, it looks kind of cool, and completely forget about it until it came out, and everyone just went, oh, neat, and again, forget about it. Is it a VR game? Nope. It feels like it's older than that. Mario Paint? Sure, it's Mario Paint. Let's go with that. I like how it keeps his little thing for a few seconds when you get onto the, uh, onto dry land. Oh, the inner tube? Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty cool. You feel like this, the sand gritting against your controller. What do you think would happen if sand actually got that thing? Oh, uh, nothing good. Wasn't there a painting game from Media Molecule? Yeah, it, I'm trying to remember. There was something, and now it's going to drive me crazy all day. Quack, quack. 
Rubber Ducky, you're the one. Yes. You may have time so much fun. Rubber Ducky, you're not fully fond of you. Hey, can you can you lay out on the uh... on the chair? Yeah. Yep. Nice. <laughs> that's really that, cute. That's why I like fun interactions. That's what like Animal Crossing oh, no, and new stuff is missing. Ah, oh, he falls asleep real fast. Reminds me of me. Yeah, no joke. Oh my god, Fat, Fat Princess. Princess! Okay, that's a really cute little kid. Never played Fat Princess. Here it was great though. There was some controversy over the whole Fat Princess thing though. Uh, it was the fat part, wasn't it? I think so, and the idea of hauling around a fat princess, so to speak. Uh, it didn't go over that well, but it was supposed to be a really great game. Yeah, they sure seemed to like it. They had it in uh, All-Stars Battle Royal, and... Uh, well, who else are you going to play in Battle Royal? Jack, Baxter, Ratchet, Clank, Fresh Bandicoot, Spyro... You know what I mean. Okay, that's good. Hit a uh, checkpoint for a blank wall, that's fine. Oh, that was actually when I came in and never hit it. It's weird. It's not like Drake, Kratos, um, Rapper the Rapper. Was Spyro in that? I can't remember. No. He belongs to Activision now. A lot of people are saying that, like, uh, Crash is going to be in Smash. I know a lot of people want him to be in, and at this point, I want him in too, with the caveat that, like, uh, some of his alt costumes need to be Coco, but... I don't know who I want in Smash next. I mean, my dream choice would be someone from Final Fantasy XIV, but that's never going to happen. Oh god, don't make me do the monkey again. Can't stop doing the monkey! Oh, it's a frog this time. That's alright. Oh god, it's... Do the monkey with me! <laughs> okay, this is kind of good. This is better than the monkey. Is it better than Spring Mario, though? Oh, anything's better than Spring Mario. Spring Mario was an unmitigated disaster. I'm so glad they got rid of him for it. If anything, I'd say that puts two above one as they got rid of him. <laughs> but, uh... Two doesn't have the story, and I thought the story was kind of cute. Yeah, the, the story and stuff and ending and... Oh, that's what put uh, Mario Galaxy 1 above uh, 2 for me. And while I like Starship Mario, I really liked the Comet Observatory, so... The ending for um, the original Mario Galaxy is extremely, like, end of Evangelion or something. It was really weird. Um, back on the Smash subject for a second, though. But yeah, I, but prior to this, it's like, I've, I've got the guys I want to get in, you know, the obvious... I would love to see, like, Zero, uh, even though I think he's, like, an assist trophy. Yeah, he's an assist trophy. Waluigi, Shadow the Hedgehog, you know, I mean, I've got guys, like, I'd like to see, but I realize they are probably not happening. But Crash has become a guy that, like, I genuinely, it's like, yes, I want him in. I could see uh, Shadow, like, not as a full character, but, like, they could do him as echo fighter. a surprise Echo Fighter. Like, hey, I mean, he doesn't count as a DLC or anything, but here he is as, like, an Echo Fighter. Yeah. But then he wouldn't. I don't know. Does Sonic have Chaos Control in uh, in uh, Smash in any regard? Um, no, not really. Because isn't that Shadow's whole thing? Yeah, basically. That that would be kind of the thing. Is like usually when you're playing as uh, Shadow, like say in Sonic Forces or Sonic Adventure 2, he's pretty much a mirror of Sonic. Yeah. But then it's like in Shadow the Hedgehog or uh, 06, he uses more Chaos Control. So I mean, there's precedent for him not using it. They could probably maybe give him a different. Well, then again, uh, Super Shadow would still be a good final smash. True. But Shadow's also a, uh... Ooh, a gun. Wow. That's oh, pretty cool. Stop on my removal shoot. That's actually really clever. Well, I thought we talking about Shadow and then you get a gun, but anyway. <laughs> um, As it should be. Yeah, I forgot Shadow's also a uh, assist trophy, so that might disqualify me. Oh, uh, yeah. I would actually... Yeah, I think Zero would be my... Top pick at this point. Oh, I can control. Okay, good. But since playing Crash Four, that's just like really that that ma has made me a Crash fan, like big time. I love that game. So too bad Activision doesn't care. Yeah. Um. 
Jason says, smash Mike Jones. Hell yeah, Mike Jones. Ah, oh, I wish. That would sure be, um... I know that Smash isn't a... Oh, adorable. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> Solid state. Oh, that's that's too much. <laughs> I, I've always felt like Smash should celebrate like all things Nintendo around the world. I get the feeling Nintendo or Sakurai or somebody disagrees on that notion, so... Uh, I've just kind of let my hopes for Mike Jones or a Nestor Trophy or anything like that just kind of subside. I don't know, it's like Smash isn't afraid to do like obscurity, but Matt Mike Jones might be a little too obscure. And Japan would be like, what the he what is even going on here? Japan was confused with Little Mac, never mind. Uh... Yeah, and they actually got Punch-Out, and it's like... I don't know, I feel like uh, the opportunity to learn more about, like, you know, other Nintendo stuff you haven't seen should be embraced. Like, over here, it's like, oh my god, who are those guys with the swords? You know, before, like, half the roster had swords now, but, um, and it's Fire Emblem, and it became a thing over here, and it's, Japan's just, like, P.U., it's like, what, what is this? I don't know this, so, like, you know, no, we don't want Punch-Out, no, we don't want Star Tropics, that's... And also, Japan's credit, they're a lot better about the, uh, the, uh, reveals than we are. How do you mean? They don't tend to throw temper tantrums when they get when there's a character they don't really understand or know. Oh, yeah. I like Pyro, but I didn't really care about her as a fighter. I mean, what are you talking about? Because I haven't even played Smash in ages. Me neither. I still want to get the uh, banjo and. Uh, Sephiroth is a great pick. I, I don't care what anyone says. It's like, oh, you like you don't like sword guys? Well, <laughs> strap in, brother. You know, it's, it's really funny how uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Smash Up kind of managed to almost foreshadow uh, Smash in that way, because I remember the big criticism being like, everybody's got swords, and like, you know, it's yeah, more like Smash, and now Smash is like, everybody's got swords. Yeah, but not everybody. And Smash has a lot of characters. Yeah, I know. Just, oh, at, at the time, like I said, it's like foreshadowing. What you fishing for? I want. Oh, I can't. I can't go in there. I wanted to help him fish. Fishing for compliments. We are fishing for compliments too. If you have any suggestions or compliments or anything, criticism, please let us know. We're trying to learn. It's the only way we'll learn. Oh shit! I killed the poor guy. Uh, do not criticize me on killing the robot. I don't care. I mean, I care, but I already have a. I already have a, a, a complex because I've killed him so many times. And he's very cute. Jason says, maybe they'll find a way to make Crash a service instead of a game. Then it stands a chance. Oh, God. Poor Crash. Poor Toys for Bob. I can sit here and rant about Toys for Bob yeah. for ages. Yeah. Don't, don't, please don't make us cry. Just all my all my dreams of a, uh, a Star Control remake or remaster, or Star, Star Control 2 remake or remaster, anything. Gone. Dead. Who knows what will happen in the future, I guess, but I'm not hopeful. And there was, like, rumors that they were working on... Oh, you asswipe. That they were working on the, um, Ghosts of the Precursors for a, a new Star Control game, basically. So, yeah, to hell with everybody. I wonder what your deal is. Oh, I see. Boink! Oh, I was hoping I'd get something for that. Oh, don't make me do this. Oh, no. I'm a smoker. <coughs> I'm not a smoker, but I don't want to do that anymore. Oh god, fuck off. Well, at least when I touched it didn't kill you. Just too many memories of like Spirit Tracks, which is yes. actually a really fantastic Zelda game with one of the worst ending boss fights I've ever played in my life. Because you're expected to blow into the DS, it was so ridiculous. I never got that far because at the time I only had my original DS and just the microphone placement. They did not take that into account. So oh, right. I could go. So I could go f myself. So I was like, "Well, same to you." So, which is too bad because I was kind of into it. That snorkel's not going to work, dude. You're underwater. Speaking of which, R.I.P. Infocom. Infocom, Infocom, Infocom. Yeah, I'm blanking on which one they are. Context, please. So we can warn properly. Oh, I didn't set that by the way. 
Aw, oh, like the dolphins. Alrighty, oh, gotta do it like this. I like to play games where there's a chance I'll pass out if I don't complete a segment on the first two or three tries. Yeah, really. Like, oh, your one capacity sucks? Well, go to hell. I want to play the dolphins. Yeah, say what you want about Connect and, you know, this, that, and the other on Xbox. At least they don't require you to blow into anything. Whoops. I'm a frog. I should be able to, like, do frog things. Oh, right. Infocom made all those old text adventures, and Sierra bought them, and then Activision acquired them. Ah. Uh, R.I.P., indeed. I'm trying to remember how Activision got toys for Bob. So I, I wasn't remember. even aware that, like, you know, they owned them until recently. Break the window. I just, like, Arcade. unless I just didn't care, and I... And no, I'm, I'm just spe I'm just speaking for me. I'm not saying that's the case with like anyone else who's done it. But unless I just didn't care that much about the company, no. its well history or well-being or future or whatever, uh, I would probably not sell my game studio to some of these players. Not going to name names. You know who I'm talking about in the industry that you know have a tendency to shutter the whole thing at the first sign of trouble. I know, it's just the way people do things. I mean, investors above all else, that's all there is to it. Always has been that way. Probably always will be until we burn it all down or whatever the future has in store. Yeah. I mean, of course, investors only apply if you're a publicly traded company in the first place. True, which a lot of these big companies are. Big ones, yeah. I'm talking about small ones. Oh, I see. Oh, shit. That was, um... Yeah, I was gonna say watch out for those spikes up there. Oh, you have the starfish. I would sell studio to cash out big if I was ready to pursue a completely different career. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. If, like, I didn't care about, like, you know, oh, what shit. happens after. Like, you know, if I'm just ready to, like, you know... What was it Miss Hoover said when uh, she was in her car? Go like, home, children? Yeah, that's it. If I'm in that mode, then, uh, yeah. She just throws all the things behind her. Go home, children. Yeah, exactly. Miss Hoover, you want... Go home, children. God. No, I'm, I'm, I'm still, like, disappointed, like, you know, that uh, Disney shuttered uh, Junction Point when... Uh... Disney shutters a lot of game companies. Yeah. That's their whole thing, practically. I mean, I, I don't know, it's like, my, my big thing is, do they at least give them a chance to, like, I don't know, spin off or buy themselves back, or... Probably not. Whatever, yeah, I, I've never heard of it, like, it, I think I may have heard of it, like, on a rare occasion, but... PlayStation 3, man, we learned a lot of hard lessons with this one. <laughs> Dad, no, was, they that, didn't. was that your commercial? I don't know. They didn't learn a damn thing. No, they did. I mean, otherwise the PlayStation 4 wouldn't have been a success. And eventually the PlayStation 3 did have a sell of the Xbox 360. Exactly. So what was there to learn? Um, well, they released more games. They basically made it... They, they just uh, improved it. Their, its circumstances a little bit. Was they leaked all your credit card info. Oh, shit, they did that. Was that the and 3 or was that the 4? That was the 3. Mm. And people just... It was like, well, that's a console I want to own. Disney and developers of Marvel Strike Force after acquiring them as part of the Fox acquisition. At least that's how it seems to have gone. Yeesh. And that's that's uh, that that's good at least. I'm gonna get a couple more crane things. Who knows what I'll find? It's like sell them off, let them buy themselves back. At least the opportunity. Hello, I'm a handle. If, if the opportunity is there, like I said, it's rarely heard about. Tell your parents, play the crane game, take your credit card. And that purchases, and that purchases, Woo! <laughs> Ooh, that, 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 I want that. Soda can? Yeah. How do I do this? Oh, there we go. That's a, uh, puzzle piece. Another puzzle piece. Okay, it looks like you're having trouble with the lever there, but I think you've got it now? Yeah. Huh. Neat. I don't know how many of these were released over here. No, that's like part of the PlayStation 5. Oh, They're really? showing like little... Yes? Oh, maybe not? I don't know. 
seemed like it would be more of a portable thing to me. Interesting that. Yeah, okay, now that you mentioned it, there was a GPS attachment for the PlayStation, uh, maybe the PS Vita or the PS uh, P. That, yeah, I don't think we got it here. Or if we did, it was one of those things that, like, was so uh, obscure that no one really bought it. Yeah, that kind of goes back to what I was saying. It's like, you know, we see Japanese stuff, and it's like, oh, cool, why couldn't we have that here? And it's like, it seems like Japan sees our stuff, and they're just like, <laughs> whatever. Maybe. At least that's how they seem to be when it comes to, like, you know, with uh, Punch-Out, which they already had. <laughs> What's this loser doing here? I don't think they were... We're going smashing. I don't think they were mad or anything. They're just a little bit baffled, and they realized, oh, okay, I remember this now. But to us, punch out was such a such a cultural touchstone. I think some people might have been, but oh man, we look at this shit. Don't make it like this no more. Oh, isn't that the thing that lets you play uh, Final Fantasy XI on the PS2? Yeah, yeah. Super successful networking. I remember we were selling those at Blockbuster. And when buy one? Uh, perhaps I should rephrase that then. I remember we had them available to purchase at Blockbuster. <laughs> Thinking out of coins. I liked Epic Mickey, so losing Junction Point after Epic Mickey 2 sucked was a big disappointment. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 liked the, I liked the stuff they were doing. and I think that one thing, the same studio who did, um, was it System Shock or Deus Ex? Or I just know Warren Spector was, was involved. I, I got to actually yeah. go to Disneyland or Disney World and, and preview the game. That was my first time in Disney World. That was, that was pretty cool. I didn't get to play a ton of Epic Mickey 2, but I liked what I saw. We have it around here somewhere. They had it. They actually put us in the Grand Floridian, which is uh, that hotel where that kid got eaten by the alligator. Um, but yeah, they said, okay, well, the you're so cool. They said like the the preview demonstration or whatever it was was in the evening or the afternoon. They said you can have free run of the park until then if you want. And I didn't even really go to the park. I. The hotel had a, a really cool water slide and just went up and down the water slide like an, like an otter the whole day. But they did kind of take us to the park later on, like to tour the rides and stuff like that. And I went went on the Haunted Mansion, which I, I thought was really cool. That was the only part that really impressed me that much, though. With that and, um, what's the name of the that roller coaster? Space Mountain was really cool. You will experience the magic of Disney. Um... Okay, so I've been there. We're now about halfway through the game, BTW. And Warren Spector was the commonality there, yeah. He's a strange dude. <clears throat> He's a guy who practically, like, reinvented Mickey. Like, I don't know that we'd have the, uh, Floyd, or not Floyd, but, um... Shoot, I forget the name of the guy who's doing the, uh, current cartoons, but... I was like, those are so good, and it's like, Mickey was, like, in corporate mascot mode for so long before Epic Mickey came along. Yeah. He, he wanted to take him back to his roots, give him that bit of mischief back. Disney kind of had to, uh, you know, think his leash a couple of times, as it were, but still, I, I, th I think it was a vast improvement for the character. Maybe someone <coughs> could take some notes with their mascot, but... Oh my... Did you just punch a I think, is he a, is he a squirrel or a furry getting too into character? Is it a squirrel or a cat? No, it's a squirrel, but it looks like he's wearing a fursuit. Yiff, 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 yiff. Godspeed, little yiffy squirrel. Are you gonna step on his fingers? No, you're just gonna melt them off. No, I wasn't going to when you mentioned it. It's like, well, now I gotta try to do it. I have to be a bad person. Oh, this is, um... Long live the PS5. Is this a game in particular? I can't remember. Oh, I am thinking it's, like... Wasn't there one where, like, a flower flew around? Oh, yeah, it yeah. Called? It had a flower, and the flower flew around, and... No, that was the... You the other flowers. Yeah, I remember. It was by the guy who did, uh, what's his name, Genova Chen. He, um... That was the game everyone tried to hand over to Ebert to prove that games were art, and I don't know if it succeeded or not. Flower. I think it was called the bus that couldn't slow down. <laughs> Whoa, wind. Must get prize. Got it. 
So I saw like a. Okay, I see another one. <laughs> what the hell was that and why? Pain, apparently, and you earned a trophy for it. Oh, well, it's nice to earn something for my pain once in a while. Um, yeah, so I see like some of these like little astro guys with balloons, and I'm wondering if you can throw something to make, make them pop. Oh, it's Fez. I, I think. Her. No, that's Ape Escape! Oh, finally. Why are you so excited about Ape Escape? I don't know! <laughs> Indoor I only ever played a demo. I don't even think I played the demo. I, I remember being part of Metal Gear Solid 3 at some point, and I don't know, it's just... I think they shared a commercial with Mega Man X7, so it's like, yeah. I don't know, I've just got this weird kind of, like... Not tangential, like kind of peripheral attachment to it. Oh, I know the type, kind of like how when you would watch, uh... Captain N, you'd watch Gravedale High afterwards because you just kind of associate the two. No, that never happened. It happened but, again. I mean, I do kind of have, like, a, a slight affinity for that in Wish Kid because, like, yeah, the intro would come on after, but I don't think I ever stick around for a full episode of Gravedale High. Mm -hmm, good, it had Rick Moranis. So that's actually pretty funny. Like, did it actually have Rick Moranis? Yeah, he did the voice of the teacher. Oh, okay. And there was Camp Candy who would come out beforehand. And, of course, that was John Candy. Yeah, usually, like, some of those cartoons and stuff, it's like, oh yeah, it's like all about the celebrity you know, and then they get, like, with Hulk Hogan's Rock and Wrestling, that's not actually Hulk Hogan doing the voice. I'm pretty sure it was Rick Moranis. Um, someone might want to correct me on that, but I'm almost certain. I mean, kind of a low-key Canadian dude, I can't see him not doing it. I don't think Macaulay Culkin did Wish Kid. I never watched Wish Kid. I, I know that um, Christopher Lloyd did not do Back to the Future, the voice. No, that he, I know. He, he, did, he did the bookend uh, stuff, like yeah. the narration, but... I remember that. However, Tom Wilson did play the Tannins, and then he did fantastic, as always. Again, don't forget your indoor voice. Sorry. I just don't know what... to talk. <laughs> well, I just know how the, I don't know how the levels are coming through, so... Yeah, nobody's complained yet, but, I mean, let us know if I'm being too loud here. Uh, Jason notes uh, they made an Ape Escape RPG for the PSP. I did not play that. Well, maybe you should. I mean, I think it's your job now. I, it is not my job to play Ape Escape. Oh, but I think it is. Oh, phew. I didn't think I'd make that. Okay, what are you doing? <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, that one I'm not sure about. Whoa! Oh! Jason says David's fine. That's a comment on his volume, by the way. Oh, thank you. That's helpful. I liked it before the clarification, but thank you. Oh, yeah, you are fine, I guess. <clears throat> I don't know if I said thanks to, um... Laz059 on the, uh... Noting that it was flower, but... Oh, thank you. Thank you. you. Now we know. Aww. Whoa. It didn't happen again! Was that a license plate? No, it was another Coke can or something. Oh, I like being broad. Did you have that before? No, just it comes up automatically when it's gonna rain, I guess. Nice. I wish I, had a head. I wish I had a head to do that for a head. Okay, you know what would be a neat collectible? Like, I mean, you, you know I'm more into, like, you know, Xbox stuff, but uh, I, I would still like it here. Uh -huh. If they actually sold those PlayStation ah, coins, like the ones you collect here. That'd be kind of cool. I like these, like, uh, IMAX that I'm beating up. Yeah, that's what I was saying before. It's like, stick to the IMAX. I forget what Sony's computer line was called. It'd just be interesting to see that in here. Did they have a computer line? Yeah, um, Vio, was it? Vio? Right. Oh, shit, I forgot about that. God. Wee. Sometimes I don't know how Sony survives. They make all these weird things that, like, just fade away or... And again, the PlayStation is probably a huge help these days. I was going to say, I think you're playing it. <laughs> oh, it's hailing or something, or the uh, drops are really big. 
I'll hail the PlayStation! Yeah, basically. Oh, that was weird. Hi, can y'all, like, just die, please? No, apparently not. They say you first. Clearly. Didn't Sony restructure its studios to build around the team that made Astro? I don't know. Be interesting if they did. That would mean it would probably get more, uh... More Astro's playroom, maybe an actual like full game instead of just a uh, kind of glorified demo. Tech demo, yeah. Um, something I'm thinking though, it's like okay, one of Sony's yeah. Sony's biggest things is like Columbia Pictures or oh, right. Sony Studios or whatever. And I'm really surprised they don't leverage that into their game making stuff more. Like, I think they did try with Ghostbusters, which, like, you know, I mean, about time, considering... I mean, I'm glad the other was the uh, Ghostbusters video game was multi-platform and all that. But at the same time, I mean, it's like if something made sense as a Sony exclusive, there you go. <laughs> yeah. But, um... And, of course, I think they're sort of doing that with Spider-Man now. Oh, that's true, yeah. But that's a little different. Um, a little, but I'm just saying they've got properties there. Um, did they make? Isn't there a Sony um, a PlayStation VR uh, Groundhog Day game? I don't know if that's uh, from their studios, but I mean that that's the kind of thing that makes sense. That's the kind of thing, you know, you probably would want to leverage. Who the hell would make a Groundhog game? Oh, 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 oh! He's dead. Well, I mean, if what I'm saying is accurate, then Sony would. It was like a VR game, as I recall, so that'd be interesting. I know it's like a bad thing to say because, you know, oh no, don't compare everything to Dark Souls, but this reminds me of the bridge in the first game where you uh, beat the dragon. Really, well, this was... reminds me of that part in Mario Galaxy where, well, you don't become the ball, but you're walking on top of the ball. Okay, that's cute. Oh, wow. Yeah, I remember that. That was some Wii motion control bullshit right there. Okay, so let's That worked see. a whole hell of a lot better on the um, collection they got on Switch, I'll say that much. Yeah, oh cool. Well, actually, you know what, I don't remember if I played that part, but I did do the uh, ray, ray racing, uh, manta racing. Yeah. Uh, that worked a whole lot better. I think I did that for you in the first game. For some reason I was good at that and you just couldn't get it done. Yeah, and I, I was able to do it like with uh, regular controls and motion on the Switch, so there you go. Hey, there's a piece under the bridge back there. Yep. Making me a little motion sick, this thing, so I'm not gonna, like, play around with it too much. There should be an Orbot cameo here. I have to say, rolling it with the touchpad is really weird. But I do like how you can turn on a dime. Do you have to turn all those yellow? I guess you can. No, it's harder than it looks. I'm not gonna bother. Oh yeah, okay, if you'd have to do all of them, I guess it's like really quick and precise. Oh, it's Jumping Rabbit. Uh, Jumping Jack. J uh, Jumping Jack Flash. Jumping, Jumping Flash. Flash. Awesome. Rabbit! Jumping Jack He's Flash. He's a big boy here, too. I, I always wanted to play that game, and then it's like... Did I get that, uh... Oh, poor guy. You're like, you can play it, but you have to buy a PlayStation Classic. And I was like, mm -hmm. uh, we're good. Hey, how, how about releasing it on the PlayStation 4 or 5? And they're like, eh, we're good. Let's see. Jason says, I think I remember reading this, uh, sorry, reading that as the word on the matter when it shut down its Japan studio. Okay, that's the thing. Omega Revolution says, hey, Nadia. Hey, Omega Revolution. I played this game yesterday. It's a love letter to PlayStation. Loved it. Yeah, it's really cute. I'm really enjoying it. Except for this thing. Whatever this is. <laughs> That's just a ball committing suicide right there. Samus is just shaking her head. Ashamed of you. She's just like noob. Can you jump? If you hit those things. Oh, okay. Those little rainbow things. Oh, no, no. Okay, phew. I hit the uh, thing. All right, it's time to partay. Jason says that was the pits. Hey, hey, hey. Omega says easy plat, you should get it. Yeah, you're right. 
I don't have too many plots. Because I'm not a very patient person. I get bored very easily. So I don't tend to stick to... I don't tend to... Um... What do you call it? I don't tend to really platinum like... games that often. If ever. Oh, for huck's sake. I was gonna say, you have to blow one of you. Blow in between my legs, please! Oh, yes. Thank blow you. like you've never blown before. Memory Show metal. the PlayStation pleasure and fun like it's never known. Hey, PlayStation controllers need love, too. For they are not long for this world. Nope. That's cute. Is that anything you recognize? Is that a wipeout? Um, it looks more like a jet than a race car. Um, but yeah, those kind of looks kind of like, you know, jetty. I am not sure. Could be Skywarp. Why would Skywarp be in this game? And he is a bit of a prankster, so... Isn't he like one of those Starscream clones? Yes, the purple and black one. Okay, I was going to say the blue one, but that's, uh, Jetfire. Oh, this one's Jetfire? Jetfire is the huge-ass one that doesn't look like Starscream. Oh, okay. That used to be friends with him. But he is affiliated with Starscream. Yes. Not so much friends in the, uh, recent Netflix series, but... These don't look familiar like anything I've ever seen before at all. Are you, uh, being sarcastic? Extremely. Okay. Whoa! Don't touch those. I'll try to drip with more next time. Oh my gosh, I- Oh, I had a helmet. I thought I had a raincoat on for a second. Jason says, I think I have zero plats. I basically did everything in The Witch and the Hundred Knight, but 0.01% of the map could not be found. Ugh. Okay, Omega Revolution says it was Ace Combat. Oh, thank you. Which was Gracias. Ace Combat, that's actually a, a series I've never played, but I, every time I hear the music, it's just completely the bomb. And of course, R.I.P. JPEG Doug. Yeah, I don't know any of that. Shit, was that Ace Combat or was that uh, another Ace Combat flying game of some kind? Well, either way, R.I.P. JPEG Doug. We loved you very much. The lightning reminds me of, uh, Zelda. Take off all your metal stuff, everyone. Oh, you know what I'm actually reminded of right now? Hmm? Bowser's Fury. We gotta play that. Maybe we should play that next week or something. Yeah, I guess that's an idea. We'll have to make sure the Switch works oh, with okay. our setup. Oh, okay. Another game. Oh, I... It's like on the tip of my tongue. Um, Slenderman. That's not it. Silent Hill? I don't think Silent Hill has anything that looks like that. The hell? Is that a boomerang? Oh, the multi-tap. Huh. <laughs> There's a right angle. Huh. You're being a cute... No, no, I'm being a tooth. <laughs> that was actually probably a really good family guy. Most fun you can have with a right angle, it said. Yeah. Mortal Kombat! Asks someone. Yeah, I would say that's a good guess, except for uh, the whole freaking out with the flashlight thing. Yeah. I, I mean, otherwise, it. lightning goes well with it. Although, Raiden's not really a bad guy. It looked like he was haunting that guy. Am I going the right yeah. way? I don't think I am. No, I'm not. There's only so many coins behind We can't get, like, more trash out of their uh, bin. More microtransactions, everybody. Ah, here we go. More microtransactions, more power! More horse testicles, more iron. Metabots! Ooh, that thing looks angry. Oh no, CRT TVs, they are at, they're, they're here for revenge. They've been abandoned. No, we still love you. What do you do for retro gaming? A Sobe. I guess that was Sony's line of TVs. Oh, I thought it was Sony. Panasonic. I think they've it. done a uh, place, actual PlayStation TV. Yeah, I've seen that around. Man, this thing's pissed. I guess I don't blame it. 
Is this what passes for a thwomp here in Sonyville? Well, I'd rather not get. I'd, ra I'd rather get hit by a thwomp than that thing. Yeah. <laughs> At least thwomps are just doing their job. These guys look angry that we abandoned them. Now what are cats gonna I mean, sleep on now, huh? I mean, thwomps are kind of, you know, kind of pussy too. True. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh cute. Holy well, crap! When's the last time you saw a happy flow? Oh, he's friendly. Oh, he is. Happy thwomp. I'm for Broadway. Stuff like that just reminds me of Reboot. And being reminded of Reboot just makes me sad. Hi, I'm a ball. Thwomp with the screen so you can watch your favorite sitcom. <laughs> you can watch Seinfeld like getting smashed. <laughs> that would be great. What's the deal with airplane food? Well, I think the uh, screens would be on the bottom so that like, when you're just like smashed, at least your corpse can watch something as the last pain gasps of air or leave your body. <laughs> oh, I remember that one. Remember what? Just, you know, whatever's like on the TV. Oh, I remember that. Oh. Uh, I'm dying now. No, you were talking about Captain N. We could be watching Captain N, realizing, oh, this was actually a really terrible show. My one was right. It wasn't that bad. Yeah, it depends on the season. Yeah, true enough. Season two is the best. Oh god, am I supposed to, like, go straight to this jackass? Because I am not a fan of that idea. I really liked the episodes that had Link. Yeah, those were good. Oh, there we go. That's better. Oh, come on! <laughs> I can see right where it led, and I was just waiting for you to realize. <laughs> Aww, that was a real Homer Simpson moment, yeah. There's gotta be an easy way to control this stupid ball. Jason proposes Big Bang Theory. Oh, wow. Up in the corner, Jigsaw. I'm trying. Oh, almost got him. So what are those like tubes yeah. on either side? They like took me to like bonuses and stuff. No, gimme, 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 gimme. Yes. Don't die or you'll lose it. Alright. No. No! No! And all is lost. No, oh, looks like I got it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa, That's lucky good. thing, too. Yeah, that will learn you. And there she goes. You know, the funny thing is, like, you know, during this, I thought we'd both be playing it a bit. Oh, I'm sorry. That's eh, fine. Pretty much almost done stream anyway. It's your new toy. Yeah, I was going to bring that up. I wasn't yeah. sure how hard you're wanting to stick to that limit. Okay, got to do my homework. Turn it off. Like I said, and on play. Uh, okay, I don't know if you remember on US Gamer, I wrote a thing about how that PlayStation Chime was the voice of God. So I was right all along. See? And now they're dead, and you are vindicated. Yes. All is right in the universe. Well, they're not dead, they're just not having any more. Oh, look at the cat. Oh. Cats. What is the deal with the cats? Oh, gosh. I think they were like mascots for something PlayStation or other in Japan. They were featured in uh, that um, Tekken vs. Street Fighter game as well. Oh, right. Exclusive fighters, and people were like, what? And Yeah, I'm all about original PlayStation Land here. OG PlayStation Land for life. Kuro and Shiro. So black and white. Why are you guys just watching the logo? Oh, I see. He's trying to make it work. Try blowing on it. <sighs> no, it's meant more for them, but. Yeah, so this is going to be the OG PlayStation, I guess. Hell yes. My buddy. 
Oh, I wanted a PS1. Do it. I don't remember that. Me neither. Three-dimensional uh, Big Bang. Look at the, uh, did you see the little rainbow underneath the, uh... No. That. Oh, the splatter thing? Yeah. Oh, that's wild. Hello, I'm a PlayStation. How are you doing today? Oh, you bought the N64? You're a stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> okay. Hello. Play Station here. <laughs> Hello, this is Play Station here. That's not very good, Kermit. Oh, sorry, it was Koro and Toro. Okay, Toro makes... Toro is... It doesn't mean tiger, does it? No, that's... Toro is tiger, I think. Oh, cool. Alright, I'm gonna get a few more junks, and then I guess that'll be it for now. Uh, okay, so we got a big PlayStation 3 over there. That's obviously the PlayStation 2 section. Uh, PlayStation handhelds can go to hell, I guess. What's that other thing on the PlayStation 4 section? Did you get two PS4s? I'm not sure what that is. I remember you picking it up, but I forget what it was. I don't know. I forget too. Huh. What happens if you uh, hit the gun up there that the guy's hanging from? I don't have anything I can throw at it. Oh, look around. There's got to be something. Yeah, doesn't seem like it. But let's step on the PlayStation controller. And look how loose those sticks are. How did anybody play with that? Okay, let's go play the crane game. Oh, 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 sorry, I thought the gun was starting to fall. Still doing the thing where they're making love for the freaking console. Stop it. No, yeah, I'm not cleaning them. What do I care? Hello. I'm a crane game. Me. Isn't a four like similar to like the like considered an unlucky number or something? Oh my god, it's the thing. PSP go. When I when I when I did karate, I actually knew someone who had this. Oh, that was the PSVR unit. Oh, okay, that makes sense actually. Thank Fix you. Fix the logo on the PS3. <laughs> you can do that. I guess. I guess I'll try that before we stop. Come on. Oh, there's uh, the PS1. And that cute little thing. I never had one of those, but I was. Oh, our chibi console. Out of the way, you. Have you gotten one of the cans yet? No, I'm kind of wanting one. Yeah, I hope you can get one. <clears throat> the original digital place. Oh, there we go. I got one. I uh -oh. crushed it. Another one. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's neat. Can I keep them? Oh, I can throw them. They're gonna make you crush it, aren't they? You should be able to decorate with that. That's not fair. I agree. I love soda canes. Oh, neat. That's actually really cute. Oh, it's like the old, all the old uh, logo concept art. Oh, neat. That's actually really cool. I'm like, what is all the... Yeah, that's cool. Oh, all out. Got a couple more consoles for my collection. Probably some new art. Wow, just one. Uh... So yeah, doesn't like four like mean like uh, death or something in Japan? Or in Asian, Japan? in Asian cultures in general, uh, yeah, the number four in a lot of like Asian languages kind of matches the the word for death. So those robots are basically screwing the P uh, that PlayStation to death. Very good. Very 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 good. I'm educated. Oh, the logo looks fine. That's gotcha. God, they're just all over it. I like little pests. All right, so I'm ready to wrap it up. So, sorry, go on, go on the other side. I just want to take a look. Um, I mean, it still looks like Spider-Man, but oh, ah, <laughs> Spider. Well, come to the top. Maybe there's. Oh, there you go. It, it turned when you uh, hit that guy. Oh. 
and it turned again. What did it turn? Oh, I see. Haha, <laughs> that's pretty cool, actually. Horizontal, vertical. Horizontal, vertical. vertical. That goes up. Now we have the logo above the reader. I mean, under the disc reader. I gotcha. I got it. It's fixed. All is well in the universe. Well, I think it's uh, turned the wrong way now. Is it? Well, it's not laying down, so it should be. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay, so we'll fix that. Anyway, I gotta get ready before our stream. There are we are. streaming the thing? No, sorry, our uh, our raid. Oh, okay. So, thank you all very much for joining us for Nadia and David. I hope we sufficiently ruined this game for you. And, yeah, if you haven't already... Oh, look at that fella. If you're not already a fan of Acts of the Blood God RPG podcast, a cat and I host, please do tune into it. That is patreon.com forward slash bloodgodpod. We'd love to have your support. And you can also find me, well, looking at it on the tablet here, I don't know if you can see the about info, but uh, on the uh, Twitch channel here, yeah, you can find me at LBD underscore N-Y-T-E-T-R-A-Y-N on Twitter. Um, I think Jason already knows that. Uh, you can find my writing on poisonmushroom.org. You can support us on Patreon. Uh, or you can pre-order the Mega Man X Maverick Hunter's Field Guide, which comes out later this year. We wrote it. We did. We could, yeah, it's not, it is like off a of pre-order on Amazon. Yep. And possibly find our bookstores everywhere. I don't know which ones, though. I think we actually. I think the Mega Man Field Guide was sold through Scholiastic, so. Yeah, they did. They did get a deal for that. So. It'd be cool if they did that for the Hunter's Guide too. Yeah, that'd be pretty dope. But yeah, either way, that's something you could do to support us. Thank you very much, and hopefully we'll be able to do more guides in the future if this one does well. Yeah, you can also find the one that's currently out. Uh, there should be a link there as well. So, feel free to check that out. And we thank you for watching, and see you next week. See you next week for us to ruin another game. Hooray!